Hello, everybody. This is Imran Jamil once again um, in Canada right now. I come here quite often, and uh, every time I come here, I find something uh, that is very, very intriguing from entertainment perspective or food or that in the uh, United States we don't have. And uh, one such place I visited, uh, and I'm surprised that after so many years, I never got a chance to go there. That is called the Ridgeway Plaza. It is such a unique place where you have food all around and it's probably the biggest food scene, halal food scene that I've uh, ever witnessed. The unique aspect of this place is the amount of restaurants. I think there's about 150 restaurants in that area in that particular strip mall type setting. And uh, all quality restaurants, different types, Mediterranean, Pakistani, Indian, coffee shops, vibes of that area, the overall hustle bustle in that area. Yesterday was a weekday and uh, at night till about midnight, it was like a day over there. So I don't know how people do that. They're gonna go there today again. So this is the Ridgeway Plaza that started way back. I didn't realize and I didn't turn on the camera on time, but now this is the whole complex and actually several complexes, just restaurants, nothing else. And it's not just the restaurants, the quality, quality, variety, and um, the hustle bustle over there is just unbelievable. And uh, we came here at a time where not many people are around just because we don't want to be stuck in rush. And uh, you can already see that even then it's pretty packed. So let's see, where do we end up going? We're just entering into the next section. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, the biggest shop all around is probably this one. The Shisha and Vape. Mutabak. Okay, this strip has some other shops as well. But ice cream, dessert. They have a specialty shop for everything. It's not just... You know, you go to, go to a restaurant and then you have some desserts. No, they have specific dessert shops. That's one place we wanted to start off with yesterday, but then we ended up somewhere else. This cha sha. It's a chai place. Jin Soy, that's a Chinese restaurant famous from, I guess, they have a original branch in Karachi. And they have a wide variety of stuff this Karachi food court place so hopefully we'll have something for everybody over here this is Karachi food court now we're gonna order food and eat okay, so this is what we ordered this is tandoori paratha this is actually charga Karachi charga and uh, these are some of the kebab rolls this is bun kebab and I tried that yesterday, it was unbelievably good, not spicy at all, at least the version that I got. This is another bun kebab, this is chicken tikka roll. Roll. roll and this is the juice, fresh juices also available. This is uh, carrot, orange and beetroot, that's for me. We ordered another one that is called Tropical Storm, that is also going to be good as I hear. This is the tropical storm drink. So this charga is really good. Really thoroughly enjoying it. This is limka. Pineapple. Pineapple limka. Alright, so almost done. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update. Quick update. It was amazing in taste. This charga was so moist and juicy and uh, spices wise that's the usual danger that i face that i don't eat spices but this one was made so well tasteful spices were just right and amazing taste same thing goes for everything else all the rolls everything is finished now all the rolls uh, with sikh kebabs with uh, reshmi kebab with chicken kebab everything was just perfectly seasoned and just done right so it was it was it was a great experience this place karachi food court 
please come by whenever you get a chance it would be worthwhile I had a really great time on this so their menu is just so big but everything is pretty good obviously I'm not gonna be able to show everything in detail just the highlights they got something for everybody so now we are just done with the Karachi food court which was amazing and the quality of the food as I said earlier was outstanding no matter what we tried they also have a lot of dessert we just didn't want to become confined to just one place so we're gonna walk around a little bit get some coffee with some sweets next and it's a whole complex we're just in one section of it so selecting a place to go is a, is a little bit of a challenge so there's this place called cha sha i don't know if they have good coffee if they do that'll be that'll be great otherwise i'll try their chai yeah so this is the clay pot that is matka and it's heated up so when you pour tea into it it's gonna have a distinct taste. The reason it is done this way, it's pretty traditional in some areas of Pakistan. Yeah, that's everything. And they have a full menu as well. Now, this is the matka chai. And uh, this clay pot is uh, actually heated up. It retains the heat for a longer period of time and that's what the fun part is, that the chai stays uh, fresh and warm. So, it's pretty good and a unique distinct taste that you can only feel drinking it in this pot. We are heading out of the area because now the public starting to come in and it's going to be pretty tight. So now we are already out of the area but just wanted to um, conclude the video. I really don't have the words uh, as far as the experience is concerned. It was just fantastic out of this world and haven't experienced all this anywhere. Look at that. I mean just restaurants after restaurants and all quality restaurants as I said and with great setups so a must visit place for anyone who's visiting Canada especially Toronto area yes. and this is in Mississauga Ridgeway Ridgeway Mississauga all right so third day in a row we ended up at Karachi restaurant again today we ordered something different which later so we ordered this Bihari kebab and then two kebab rolls. One is chicken tikka roll and the other one is I think reshmi kebab roll. Uh, parathas and the parathas are actually tandoori type parathas so that's really good. Thank you. Today we wanted to try something else but uh, every other restaurant like the one in the front they were not only full but there were lines ahead of it. So any of the Mediterranean restaurants we're seeing that it's very hard to get into at this lunch or dinner hour. But you know, if you come in off hours, maybe you will be able to get in. 